Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from eLearningUncovered.com. One question I get asked all the time is how do you organize your e-learning content? This is a question I think all new e-learning designers struggle with at one point or another. It's all too common when starting a new e-learning project that your subject matter expert dumps a boatload of information on you and you're somehow expected to transform that into an effective, engaging, and interactive e-learning course. The truth is, there's a huge gap between having raw content provided by your SME and a completed storyboard that's ready for development. And it's this gap that I want to help you bridge. Now, before I show you my method for organizing e-learning content, there are a few disclaimers I must mention. First, this method, or any method for that matter, doesn't change the fact that you'll still need to review and become knowledgeable about all that content your subject matter expert dumped on you. That's going to take time. There's no avoiding it. Second, this method doesn't change the fact that you'll still need to use good instructional design techniques to storyboard your content. This might mean removing nice-to-know information or requesting additional information from your SME. Now, once you've done both of these things, you might discover that you have less content to deal with than what you originally started with. That's a good thing. But this is also the point where you might run into your biggest roadblock. How do you get all of this content into a development-ready storyboard that meets the learning needs of your audience? Well, the first thing I'd suggest is to slowly back away from your computer. Organizing your e-learning content is going to take some creative thinking. And for many people, creative thinking rarely occurs while sitting in front of a computer. And second, go find yourself a wall, a marker, and some sticky notes. These are the tools that are going to help you get a handle on all of your e-learning content. Start by assigning a sticky note for each of your main topics and put them up on the wall. Next, assign a sticky note for each of your subtopics and figure out how they relate and where they live beneath each of your main topics. At this point, you don't need to worry about how the topics flow from one to another or where you're going to add interactivity or quiz questions. This is just about getting all of those topics up where you can see them and move them around. Now, as you do this, you might discover different ways to organize your topics. You might find that some of your subtopics should be moved to a different main topic or that they should be grouped together with a new main topic. Once you complete this, the next step is to add sticky notes to indicate the slides you know you need to include in your course. Are you going to have an introduction slide? If so, add a sticky note for it at the top. Perhaps a slide to outline the learning objectives? Add a sticky note for that too. A final exam and conclusion at the end? Add those as well. The point here is to start creating a map or outline of how your course will be organized. This is also a good time to start exploring how your course will flow. Is your course going to be linear? If so, indicate that by drawing how the user will progress from one slide to the next. Or perhaps you want your course to be non-linear. Maybe you want a main menu. If so, organize your sticky notes to represent this. Finally, as you get a better idea of how your content will fit into your course, take some time to indicate where you want to include some interactivity. Perhaps you need to include a system simulation somewhere in Module 1, or some sort of learning scenario in Module 3. Making dedicated sticky notes for these elements helps you understand the balance between presentation content and interactive content. Once you feel like you've completed this process of organizing your course content with sticky notes, the prospect of storyboarding your course doesn't seem so overwhelming you now have a better idea of how your course will flow from one topic to the next. Although this method might add an extra layer of effort to your already busy workload, taking the time to organize your content in this way can save you from the added frustration and stress during the process. So in the end, it does save you time. So the next time you're struggling to organize the content of your e-learning course, step away from your desk, grab some sticky notes, and start mapping it out one sticky note at a time. Hey, did you like that video? Make sure to check out some of our other great content at elearningandcover.com.